afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Um, by way of introduction, my name is David Stewart. I will be your auctioneer here this afternoon. Um, Danny has been marketing the property for the last three weeks and together with Jeff and also Marie, who many of you may know, has been in and around the Croydon real estate uh, industry for many years. We proudly represent one of the fastest growing real estate companies in the southeast parts of Melbourne in iTrack Real Estate. Now today's auction will take three parts. Firstly, I will go through the particulars of sale. Secondly, a brief description of everything you've just seen here today. And third and finally, because it's a bit chilly, I will hand the property over to you guys so we can warm up with some spirited bidding to find out which one of you lucky people get to call this fantastic opportunity yours. Now, the particulars of sale are as follows. The vendor's agent is iTrack Real Estate. We are selling for and on behalf of our vendor, the property described as lot two, Planner Subdivision 001149, volume 08784, folio 739, and obviously more commonly known to all of us as Unit 2, 67 to 69 Hewish Road, here in beautiful Croydon. Now the goods and chattels included in today's sale are all fixed fixtures and fittings of a permanent nature as inspected. We are selling by public auction whereby unless you have a previously arranged agreement with Danny and the vendor, a 10% deposit is required at the fall of the hammer and the vendor is very, very flexible on settlement terms today. 30 to 90 days at the choice of the highest bidder here today. So you sign the contracts today and you get the choice whether you want a 30 day, 45, 50, anywhere from 30 to 90 days at your choice. Um, we can also take the deposit in the form of a $5,000 net back transfer straight into the trust account via your mobile phone today and we are happy to take the balance of 10% on Monday if you need to shuffle some money around in your in your, uh, in your iPhone bank account. So that's, just, that's another way that modern technology can make life very easy for us. No need to ca carry around checkbooks in the modern day. Now the rules of this afternoon auction are in accordance with the Law Institute in Victoria and the REIV of which I track real estate are members and they are as follows. Subject to the vendor's reserve price, the highest bidder whose bid is accepted by the vendor shall be the purchaser. I as the auctioneer will determine the minimum figure in which the uh, bidding shall be advanced and no bid once made shall be retracted. If any dispute arises concerning the bidding, I as the auctioneer will determine the dispute or resubmit the property at its last undisputed bid for your continued bidding. The vendor reserves the right to bid once or more by their auctioneer to refuse any bid or to withdraw the property at any time without necessarily declaring the reserve price. I will indicate bids on request and if you've already made a bid, just raise your hand if I'm asking for a figure or a nod will be fine, but if it's your first bid, please be loud and proud and call it out so we absolutely hear you without mistake. Um, the words I will use to indicate that I'm making a vendor bid, which is legal on behalf of the vendor, will be very clear. Vendor bid with the nominated figure from that moment in time. Now for those of you who have not seen many auctions, a vendor bid is nothing more, nothing less than a counter offer made by myself as the auctioneer on behalf of the vendor to simply suggest that the property will not be sold at a lower figure than the nominated figure and I would ask for your continued bidding from that moment in time. Basically, it's just a stockman's whip to say, come on ladies and gentlemen, let's get moving. We know the property's not gonna be sold at that or a lower level. So, the one final thing is no late bids. In the state of Victoria, it is illegal for any auctioneer to accept a late bid once the contract has hit their hand. So, if it's your game plan to suss out the market, find out what everyone else is thinking before you get involved, it may not be the best game plan. I'm a, an auctioneer that, that likes to keep things moving relevantly fast, so if you do have genuine interest in the home today, and I, why wouldn't you have genuine interest in the home today in the location that it's in, then I ask you to bid and bid firm and proud so that you can make sure that the next 15 years of your life is nice and secure in a brilliant location, obviously so close to all the amenities just up the road. The house itself, well, it's a credit to the vendor, Chrissy, who has looked after it immaculately. She's presented it today in absolute beautiful condition for you to basically buy today, choose 30, 60, 90 days, 
and walk straight in without spending a cent. How's that kitchen? The feature, obviously, of the kitchen is the, the industrial size oven and, and gas cooktop. The beautiful pantry, if some of you didn't realise, actually swings out to be almost a mini supermarket in that pantry. So um, that is a fantastic feature of the kitchen as well. The beautiful poly floorboards is obviously in line with today's trends. Most of the young first home buyers today will always prefer that look than the old carpet, shag pile carpet look of the 70s. So that's all there and ready to go for you. You've got obviously a lovely bathroom and the beautiful outdoor entertainment that's nice and private. You can sit out there for a cup of tea, have a barbecue in summer, and obviously you're in a, have got the privacy of that as well. <coughs> Pardon me. The location, well, can you get any better for this price point in Croydon? I'm asking you that question. You guys will tell me the answer to that in a minute, but I don't think you can. Literally, I don't know, an old man like me could walk to Croydon in probably three or four minutes. You've got the cinema. It is a beautiful village shopping centre atmosphere at Croydon. It's got some lovely little bakeries and, and coffee cafes and obviously all the other amenities that you need. You don't really have to go worry about going to Northland or Knox City to do your major grocery shopping. It's all just up there for you. Um, and don't forget, I, I might have mentioned it, but the cinema, and I've been there quite a few times myself. You can just walk down on a Wednesday night or a Thursday night to watch a film and casually walk home at the end of it. Very, very easy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we will keep things moving. It's very cold, and I know you've got better things to do than watch me in a cold driveway. So the way in which we'll be selling the property today is on a first, second, and third call. And when the contract hits my hand, we are deemed to be sold. One more reminder. to buy because as as you might have heard many people say we're always at the bottom of the next high so today is the day you want to secure real estate don't wait for the market to start flying again when the market starts flying instead of 30 people here there's 80 people and it can happen just like that so your opportunity is here and now i wish you all the very best it is a wonderful opportunity for any first home buyer a great opportunity for investors as well. You'll never have a problem renting this property out. So ladies and gentlemen, enough from me. Over to you. Start me wherever you like. We're going to see a fair and reasonable start here at Unit 2, 67 to 69, Hewish Road in Croydon, and all the very best. $420,000. Welcome to the bidding, sir. At $420,000, I'm clearly bid. At $420,000, and I'll ask for a rise of 10. At $420,000, clearly bid I am. At $420,000, clearly bid looking for four thirty. dollars At $420,000, first call at $420,000. Second call at $420,000. Third, final call at $420,000. I'm surprised, I thought everyone would have had their hand up by now. At $420,000, we aren't at the vendor's reserve price. We are not quite at the vendor's reserve price, but I won't be taking a vendor bid. This gentleman has the first right to be the first person to negotiate with our vendor, and 98% of the time, there's a salt sign on the board within half an hour of that happening. At $420,000, clearly bid I am, where can I see a rise of 430? Or shout me out another yeah. number if you like. $430,000, welcome to the bidding, sir, and all the very best to you and your family this afternoon. 
$430,000 clearly bid. At $430,000, can I say $440, sir? Thank you very much. At $440,000, clearly bid. At $440,000, how about rising me to $450, sir? At $440,000, I'm clearly bid. At $440,000, take me to $450. At $440,000, looking for $450. First call, $440. Second call, $440,000. Third, final call, are we all done? Finished and silent at $440,000? You're definitely out, sir. At $440,000, how about five? How about $5,000? You won't regret it. One of the great locations in Croydon. At $440,000, clearly bid I am. At $440,000, how about five? Anyone else at all can try me if they want. At $440,000, I'm clearly bid. At $440,000, how are we going north of me up here on the hill? At $440,000, great buying in Croydon, ladies and gentlemen. At $440,000, are you sure you won't throw me five, sir? At $440,000, I'll call it again. First call, $440,000. Second call, $440,000. Third, final call, all done, finished and silent. Ladies and gentlemen, if you bear with me for a few moments, I will just seek instructions and I'll be back in a moment. Thank you very much. One sec, ladies and gentlemen.
Thank you very much for your patience, ladies and gentlemen. When you bought your first home a few years ago, it was always, always an emotional tug, and we understand that, we get it. But I can tell you that this gentleman has just increased his bid to $450,000. Thank you very much, sir. Can I just get you to confirm that? Yep. Thank you very much. At $450,000, our vendor is selling today. track real estate auction. Have a fantastic weekend and barricade for the bombers in an hour. <laughs>